have teamed up with Good Housekeeping, Woman's Day, and Red Book to introduce you to some incredible moms who make a difference. Yep, we have a little more on that later, including uh -huh. a really awesome surprise. But first, Hoda and I recently spent a sensational spring day at Central Park's Boathouse here in New York, and we just chatted about what being a mom means to us. We're here to talk about big moms, and then we're sitting around this beautiful backdrop. You know, we came to motherhood late in life, and now that I know Vale and Charlie, I don't want any other babies but them. I would have waited a million more years for them. Yeah. I remember thinking, like, I've loved something for so long that I never saw, that I never felt, that I never touched, that I could only imagine, like she was just in my head. I couldn't be more thankful. Yeah. I was shocked when we went home with her. I'm like, you're just gonna let us take her <laughs> no. home? You know, like, was there any kind of manual? But those moments, I mean, I can remember being cheek to cheek. The tears rolling down and just having a little conversation with her. Like, I'm always gonna love you. I'm always gonna protect you. I'm always gonna be your mommy. They put her right here and I remember she fit. It's like a puzzle piece that snapped in and now I'm me. I feel like when it comes to motherhood, like all we can make is just a beautiful, safe place for them to land, you know? That's the goal. You want to create this oasis. Yes. But that doesn't mean it's going to be a perfect, like, you no. know, June and Ward Cleaver yeah. home. And I think, like, that's, we have to accept the messiness, too. I mean, there are days when sometimes Haley is just a little out of control and I start losing it. Like, I can feel myself, yeah. like, coming unglued. And you could do your grateful check-in, which I do often, but sometimes the world gets out of control. You're like, please, I can't. Like, I just need a second because I felt like I'm on empty and I got nothing going on here. It is. It's so and true. A, and I remember saying, having, like, a, a short conversation with God, and I remember saying, I would have begged you for this day. Like, this terrible day I would have begged on my knees for. Yeah, perspective by its nature, you're not gonna get it every yeah. single day. But it's like yeah. when it comes, it's like a lightning bolt. Yes. Wait, yeah. what, I have two kids? Wait, are you kidding? Oh my gosh, when did that dream come true? Okay. I, feel, I will drink to that. I'll drink to I feel very grateful. I do too. You know, the other day, it was bedtime, it's crazy. You can't even put Charlie in clothes right now. He's like a Tasmanian <laughs> devil circling and circling, you know? It's just like everything's flying everywhere. And it just was crazy. But I'm just loving the craziness. And it felt not like chaos, but abundance. I am the most impatient person on the planet. I have no patience. I just be like, okay, bottle done, go to bed. Me oh, too. you're not ready? Guilty. Okay, wait, wait, yeah. hold on. So I think she's taught me patience and she's taught me that no dream's too big. If you believe in something, it may actually come true. I think what my kids have taught me the most is gratitude. I just felt lucky. And that's crazy, because sometimes I'm just like, Calgon, take me away. But I think that, in general, like, I really, I love the crazy. Cheers. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we get in one of these fabulous boats here? What? We're at the Central Park Boathouse. Let's go ride around. Is this like our great escape from life? This is so nice. I feel what? like as moms, we always feel guilty. Yes. For setting foot away from the kids. I think it's good if occasionally you get out and ride in a boat with your friends. <laughs> Look at all these beautiful couples, and then it's me and you. I know, because that's because we are a couple, okay? Sure, and let's not forget it. Yep. Here you go. It's for you. Oh, wow. So nice. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Love you, honey. I want to see more of the boat ride. That was turning into Laverne and Shirley. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was very romantical. I kept Louise. those flowers. They were like on my, I just noticed they were dead yesterday. I'm like, we shot that two weeks ago. By the way, my favorite line was the abundance line. That's such an important thing to remember. Oh, you know, well, I it, love that. It, it is. It's true. It's like if you can remind yourself yeah. of that. It's hard sometimes. Yeah. We yeah. all have kids. Like yeah. There are moments where you're like, well, you yeah. two make it look so easy, though. Yeah. You really oh. do, on a, on, a, on a daily basis. <laughs> Seriously.
Thank wow. you, Craig. We, we feel yeah. grateful. And yeah. thanks again to the Central Park Boathouse. That was awesome. And Father's yeah. Day next month. Uh-huh. Let's just pub, to, uh, let's do it. Talking about being dads. I'm yes. there. Is that what you're beer. doing? I'm Wings there. All right. All right. We're going to work on that. I love that. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.